What's up? My name is Hordy's son. Uh, most people know me as George. Most important people know me as Dad. I'm from Rotorua. I'm based in Whangarei and I'm a rapper, MC, hip hop artist, whatever you want to call it. For anyone that might have forgot who the fuck I am. I'm just a man with a gym swipe tag on his keychain, holding up the drive through at BK. Just a provider trying to be paid, putting in the hours plus some OT to tally up a mean wage. I'm my old man. He used to thrash us with Elvis Presley when we were growing up, me and my siblings. So thinking back, that's like, we listen to oldies, Elvis Presley and a bit of reggae as well. And he, um, he used to perform as an Elvis impersonator as well. So seeing that as a kid, sort of like I used to imitate my dad. And then I think that carried on into wanting to entertain, wanting to do my own thing and just get up on, on the mic and stuff like that um, but growing up yeah all we listened to was oldies I didn't find rap music until my teenage years when uh, a couple of mates introduced me to a group called Bone Thugs and Harmony and from there on man it was over it was over uh, all I used to listen to was Bone Thugs my parents hated it we went through like argument after argument after argument over it by the end of the day, man, like I fell in love with that genre of music. Uh, through Bone Thugs, I got to know dudes like Tupac after hearing Thug Love. Got to know dudes like B.I.G. after hearing the Taurus Thugs. And, um, <laughs> and those seagulls, they got, they got to know a few different artists too. So the horizon of um, the rap genre just expanded uh, for me since then. And, um, that's basically where I fell in love with hip hop. Um, then I caught on to the fact that New Zealand hip hop was popping off in the mid 2000s, and uh, I really, really took notice of dudes like my record scribe and uh, Nisian Mystic, Four Corners, and all those guys. They were doing things big, man, and, and it, it gave me like um, a sense of well, Kiwis are doing this as well, just on the same sort of standard as the states like we can do this too that's why i started writing my own rhymes and imitating those guys and um yeah i just i, I guess i became my own sort of artist back in that that era and um have only really been trying to grow since then uh what inspires me to continue my music is at the moment where i am in my life now like i'm in my 30s um i'm inspired a lot by my, my current situation you know i'm married I got children, you know. I got to provide and and things like that. So it's not really um, it's not really um, other other music that's going on, or more or less things that things that I'm dealing with that I can relate to and write about. Um, but I'm still listening to new music now. There's like there's another big boom happening in New Zealand for New Zealand hip hop, and that's really inspiring too. Seeing um, they sort of newer cats come up and you know revive that that hip hop um, boom that we, we sort of lost uh, towards the end of the like 2009 10ish. Um, but yeah, like when I started making hip hop uh, for myself, it was a different time. You know, I was a different. I was a lot younger and a different type of person uh, with really little to no responsibilities. And compared to now, like 10 years later, I've got. Uh, a whole lot of different type of responsibilities that um, really get me going and now that I found this music thing again um, that's really what I'm trying to share and get out there is just my own you know my own my own story really yeah 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 Forty Sun 2.0, bringing up my kids in the crib I own. No more late nights on a B man coke. No more butter knives on the top of the stove. Ho, I'm trying to keep the peace, y'all. But my kids, real father. Um, at the moment, just hearing it back, like, yeah, yeah, hearing yourself back on the track is uh, one of the most, like, especially when it sounds good, is uh, really rewarding. Yeah, yeah. And then um, the follow up from that is getting recognition. So. You know, a lot of artists already know this. If you put your um, your all your efforts into something, um, what you want back from it is you want people to um, listen and you know you know give you props for that stuff. So that's that's something that's rewarding is um, you know getting feedback and whether it's negative or positive, man. You know, people are listening. So 
that's I think for a lot of artists that's really what we're trying to push initially is just to be heard. Oh, I'm currently working on um, writing, writing a lot of music. So I've only just picked up um, my music again within the last maybe three months. I sort of had it on the back, on the back burner for about shucks, pretty embarrassing, but maybe about five, six years. And um, I've got a lot of things that I'm writing at the moment for a project coming up this summer. So hopefully that um, gets. Yeah, hopefully that gets 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 done. Um, I'm looking at collaborating with a lot of different cats around around New Zealand, actually. And yeah, let's let's just push this music thing forward um, first, and then follow it up with um, either gigging or uh, looking at doing merch and things like that, and pushing pushing albums and stuff. Is really really the focus at the moment. If I can remember how to do this shit Yo 30 years old, still trying to be a rapper Probably missed the bus, but fuck it, what does it matter? I've been way too busy doing me to take notice Steady ticking off goals and keeping my mind focused for the ring Well, my short-term goals at the moment are to, is to uh, work on an album So, I've never released an album I've already, always done tracks here and there And um, collabos with different, different dudes and stuff like that Work with groups but I've never actually put out my own solo project and my own solo album so that's something that I'm working towards um, getting done like I've been um, writing and writing and making my own uh, rap music for man like between 12 and 15 years something like that and never put out my own solo project so that's that's the short term biggest goal and um, yeah I want to see where it takes me between now and then um, but, uh, whether, whether that's you know, getting my name out there and gigging around and uh, meeting new people and stuff like that. And ultimately, ultimately, the end game for me is, you know, I think a lot of people can relate to this. You know, we want our music out there, we want to be heard. But if there's that money in there too, man, you know, <laughs> no doubt. So yeah, man, um, much love to Low Budget Brotherhood putting me on. And um, everyone out there who's ever supported me and all the cats that still support me, all the new ones who have come along and decided to, you know, take that just in me, man, I appreciate it all. Um, I just really want to shout out to my kids. You know, um, you, you are going to have dreams. My dad's got dreams, you know, let's just do them together and all that stuff. Um, but as for me as an artist, man, you know, um, I, I, I don't know, let's just do it, you know. I just want to rap, bro. I just want to make music. We're just gonna do it. That's it. That's it. Vegas, I'ma lay down to sleep, strap in the seatbelt when I ride the beat. Always, I know my avenues, and wherever I go, I'ma come back home. And